Hello, Dr. Minkoff. Hi, Michelle. Um, I'd like you to talk to us today about how to prevent Lyme disease. So could you firstly tell us how a person gets Lyme disease? The traditional or classic scenario is that somebody gets bit by a tick. They're walking in the woods or they're laying in the grass. A tick bites them. It's supposed to be a certain kind of tick. There's a few different ticks that are known to do it. I think that since we're seeing so many Lyme disease patients and there's so many patients that never had a tick bite that it could be extended past ticks. I think biting insects of various kinds could cause this. That isn't proven, it's just my feeling. So you're in the grass, the tick crawls up on you, the tick wants your blood, they have a little probe, they enter the skin, they suck your blood, and in exchange they give you whatever was in their mouth. Now our mouths are, are not clean, there's lots of bacteria. If this tick had a bite on somebody's blood where they were infected with Lyme or other organisms that go with the Lyme complex, then when they suck your blood, they can pass those on to you. And traditionally, that's how you get it. Now, in probably 60 or more percent of the cases, there is no obvious tick bite or the tick isn't found. If there is a tick bite, uh, you can get a rash which looks like a bullseye, which is pretty classic, and you can diagnose Lyme disease even after the tick has fallen off. The rash can appear within a couple of days, up to maybe a week or 10 days. It looks like a big target or like a big bullseye. Uh, the person may feel kind of fluey, malaise, maybe fever, uh, joint pains could go with it, and that would be like a first infection, first exposure with Lyme disease. So how would you go about preventing Lyme disease? Well, if you don't go where ticks are, you won't get them. If you are where ticks are and you have sufficient clothing that they don't get through, or you have a repellent on that may they may not like the way you smell, maybe a way to do it. I've had experience in my family, I have family members in New York and in Wisconsin where there's lots of ticks, where we went up there and people had, it was fall, uh, long pants, boots, socks, shirts, hats, and out of our party, my brother came home and had ticks and one of my grandsons had ticks. So I think your best thing, and if you're in a Lyme area, is that you do an inspection every night before you go to bed, hair, all the skin, body exposed, do you see any ticks? And that's the best way to do it that I know of. If they bite you and they fall off right away, there's a low chance that they're gonna infect you. If they bite you and they stick on for 24 hours and they swell up, then your chances of getting infected are higher. Some health departments will, if you get the tick, and you take them down there, they will culture them for Lyme disease. Some places do that, some places don't. So what would you do if you discovered a tick on you? Well, I'd pull the tick off. Usually if you use a tweezer and you use gentle tugging, you can get them off. You know, people have tried all kinds of things from kerosene to burn them with a cigarette or a match, but you can burn yourself that way. Usually if you just use gentle tugging, the tick will let go and they will come off. Um, then, you've got to see if that tick is swollen and full of blood and that guy's been on there for a couple of days, there's a chance that you got infected. And uh, you could send the tick for analysis. Um, if a person gets symptomatic, I would treat them with antibiotics because usually that's curative. You can take doxycycline or doxycycline plus amoxicillin or augmentin. And um, it's usually a cure if early and then you don't have a problem. So what should somebody do if they think they may have Lyme disease or you know they've got symptoms and they're suspicious that it, it's Lyme? Well, I think more likely the scenario is if you have chronic fatigue, a neurological illness or a, an autoimmune illness that no one can get their handle on or a finger on or give you a good diagnosis for or that the treatments that you've been getting haven't made you better, that Lyme disease would be high on my list as a possibility. And that if you go to our website at lifeworkswellnesscenter.com, there's a lot of information on there. We specialize in this, so we see lots of people, they come from all over the world, uh, where we're able to make a good diagnosis with them. And then we have treatment protocols, which for most people do very well. Uh, people get better, 
and they can recover from this, even if they've been sick for a long time. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah.